and a swarm out and moved in yesterday. That's what they see when they come out. Hey. <laughs> it's slow going, but they're coming out a little bit at a time. I'm backing them as they come out. All right, this is a first. I pull up to an Ace Hardware store to get some more supplies for a removal I'm doing. And I feel something on my arm. And I look down to see this. Does anybody know what that is? I've got Varroa. <laughs> I have Varroa mites. These obviously came off of the bees. I'm running out of some framing space right now. But that's crazy. I have never in my life. Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Well, spring's finally sprung here in South Mississippi. We're catching swarms right and left, doing cutouts like crazy and drawing flies as well, apparently. Gonna be another good year for cutouts and we'll be bringing you along on a bunch of those again this year. Can't bring, can't bring you on all of them. Wish I could, but just don't have the time for all the editing and, and video work. Uh, I hate to start this video on a down note, but I do need to let everybody know that the honey convention in Knoxville, Tennessee has been called off for the year, for this year, due to the coronavirus scare. It was messing up travel plans for some of the speakers and some of the guests were, were uh, canceling, getting refunds. So still gonna be on for next year. We'll be there next year, but this year is off. I hate that. Looking forward to meeting a lot of y'all. Even had new shirts and hats made for the whole thing. Matching shirts and hats. What's up? <laughs> oh well, they're on the website if you're interested. But just needed to put that out there. Didn't want anybody trying to make travel plans when the event's not gonna happen. This morning I'm headed out to bid some jobs. I've got two to look at today that I know of. Looked at four yesterday. Now I normally won't make the rounds to look at them like this, but all of these are either contractors or referrals from contractors. And a couple of them were kind of complicated to figure out by text, by text pictures. Need to figure out exactly where they are and in what's, you know, in what framing space or whatever. And they're pretty much all in the same direction. So it's 35 minutes one way to the furthest one away but there's three in the same direction. That's what I'm doing this morning. Run around doing that, come back, pack some hats and shirts, start editing a video, and maybe over the weekend we'll do a cutout. This place is crazy. This is a pool house. Over a million dollars in a pool house. And it's being built before the actual house. We got bees going in and out right here. I got some, maybe it's just scouts right now because what they had was a swarm come in. Let me see if I can find where they are. Anyhow, this, <laughs> this is the pool house. Is this nuts or what? Over a million dollars on a pool house. The pool is not yet built. The house is not yet built. This is a long, probably eighth mile long driveway to get back in here. But now I gotta try to figure out where these bees are. They had a swarm come in. Look at this heart pine floors. They said they cleaned up bees from out of a window somewhere. I'm gonna assume it was probably in here. What they have is a swarm come in. Swarms will come in and once they get in a structure, they'll just go exploring. And wherever they get into the into the building, they can't find their way back out. And so they'll go to the light. And that, that'd be the windows. They'll go die in the windows. I see a couple there on the floor. But they'll go die in the windows and you know, sometimes you got a problem, sometimes you don't. I never seen this. I don't know what's up with the gap in the trim and the ceiling there. I don't know if there's some lights running up there or something. I guess I got a T-pole outside. 
See, I gotta find out about that. The trim guy's out there, so he'll be able to tell me. All the ceilings are tongue and groove pine, eight inch base, nine foot doors. Dude. Yeah, I was gonna build a pool house like this, but I decided to get a yacht instead. Gotta throw all that extra YouTube money somewhere. <laughs> This must be a pool house slash guest house. They called it a pool house. <laughs> Let's see, is there a kitchen? Utility room. Workshop, sort of. Looks like a garage, but they ain't a garage door. I guess that's. Yeah. All right, that's a garage. Dude, this place is fine. All right, there's the bees all over the floor. There's a few hundred bees on the floor. Just hanging out, dying, drying out an air conditioner. They do have the air conditioner running in the place. Bees are going in right at the end of that copper at the top of this. And we got all this fur down for who knows what is up in there. There's a crawl space up there somewhere and I'm about to go see if I can't fit in it. All right, with much discussion and inspection, what they got is scout bees. They're running this trim right here where the brick meets there's little gaps in the mortar and the bees are going in under that trim between the trim and the mortar there's a, like I said a few hundred inside uh, they don't have a problem yet but if they don't get those gaps sealed up they definitely will have and this one will not be cheap to get out because of where they where they would be in it would either be tear off some incredibly expensive roofing or go in through this ceiling and the only other way in through there I don't know that even Pete would fit but that gap is 14 inches under that platform up there and there's a cross space all the way through here over to here 14 inches wide and we all know I ain't going through no 14 inch wide gap. I don't think Pete could either. But I'm out of here on this one. Going on to the next. There's the front of this place. And it's just out here in the woods. I think I'm gonna try to pull these medium frames out one at a time rather than trying to roll this whole box over. I don't know how successful I'm going to be at it, but that's, what, that's the route I'm going to go. So I'm just going to try to knock these off. I might be better just to stand this whole, I don't know, I might just stand this whole stack up. I hate it. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of bees in here to contend with. This is a box that I broke down a week ago and took two two mediums off of it that were packed like this and moved them off site somewhere else and i need to go through and split those as well mm -hmm. right now i'm just going to split some of these medium frames into a deep box I might tear up this end when getting it out, but at least that'll give me an opening to try to see if I can get to the rest of them. I'm trying to be as careful as I can not to roll any bees.
What I'm going to have to do with these frames is cut these lower hanging combs off the bottoms of the plastics. And I'll use the plastics and whatever nukes I decide to put those in. And the lower ones I will frame up just like it was a cutout on a structure. And I'll, I'll use those in deep frames. So I would like to cut these off on camera, but that probably wouldn't go well. So I'm probably going to lay these down to cut them. Cause I like for you to be able to see what I'm doing and what's under it. I don't want to crush bees though, and this is a pretty heavy piece of comb, so they're not acting too irritated by it, but still. And the whole while I'm doing this, I'm looking for a queen because I don't know if I moved her with those other splits I made the other day or if she's still in this box. So either way I need to find a queen or evidence of a queen or queen cells. Any way it goes, this is gonna make some nice splits. It's just gonna be some kind of different, messed up, kind of different. Some of it's on shallows, some of it's on cut out. I had a couple of people ask me what kind of frames these are, and I can't tell you. I don't know, they're really cheap. Chinese frames, I would assume. Probably something somebody got on a bulk deal off of eBay or something. But if you notice right here, there's no uh, thickness right here to make the B space. So you have to physically space these frames yourself as you're setting them up. But the, the frame, the frame rest part of them breaks off pretty easy. <laughs> However, the good part about them is they're thin uh, really cheap, really thin plastic, and the bees seem to draw on them pretty well, even without a wax coating, because I don't think they're wax coated, but the bees don't seem to mind them not being wax coated. They draw pretty well on the foundation without a whole lot of burr comb or without building off of it to leave an air gap. So because they're kind of junk, I don't like them, but because the bees seem to take to them really well, I don't mind. This one here is all pollen here and all honey right here. Oh, there's another pretty queen cell right there. Yeah, that's a really nice one. I think we're gonna be all right on queens for this one. Looking at it, I gotta cut one side of this off. I can go this way, or I can go this way. Now I know a lot of you know what you're looking at, which they go this way, because some of you less experienced, what I'm gonna show you is right, the dividing line, the center of this comb divides worker brood from drone brood. These are drone brood cells. And these are worker brood cells. So I can cut off two or 300 worker cells and keep that or go the other way. So I'm gonna cut off this old rough drone brood and the whole bottom's gotta be cut to fit. Good frame though. What I'm doing with this right now is hanging this over in here for a little bit to let bees get on it. I pretty much shook all the bees off of it when I put it together, but it's a brood comb. So they will get back on it and try to transfer bees over into a nuke right now. So instead of shaking a bunch of bees over, I'll just let them walk on and I'll just move the frame over. Okay, now that I got a little bit of room to work, let me show you what I was concerned about. 
Now this is right here is not even built on one of the frames. It's just kind of freestanding and it's leaning against that frame there. But if you look over in the side, you can see where it was tied to the bottom box. Now once I pull this, I'll have room to cut the rest of them loose from the bottom box <laughs> instead of tearing them out and chancing them falling over on me. That was two splits off of this side. This is frame number five to go in that other box, which I'm only putting four in for the time being. So I'm just gonna leave this one in overnight. I'll come back in the morning and start back on this and break this up into probably four more nukes. I made two right there. So I'll probably make four more out of this. And because of what they are, I'll just use them for queen rearing. Can't sell them. Can't sell. You can't sell a medium nuke. I mean, some people do, I guess, but I don't. All my nukes are deeps, and really don't. Nobody want any framed up combs in their nukes. They want built on foundation. So these can just be for raising queens. Ooh, I was about to. I was about to flatten a couple queen cells there, I forgot. <laughs> I gotta stick them in those other boxes. Hey, yesterday was a dry run. It's all right though. Plenty of activity around I got to see four properties yesterday all of them scout bees every single one <laughs> headed today to do a, a removal or force a swarm out something i'll see when i get there it's about 35 minutes away going in around a chimney they watched them swarm in yesterday send me a video they called me first and I was out on a date with my wife and wasn't cutting that. So <laughs> I said, I had to catch you tomorrow. So they were excited, uh, scared, in a panic. Called pest control company. The pest control company called me. The te technician that went out actually knows me. He called me when he was up there. He called me on the way. He told me what he thought he had. And I said, yeah, I already talked to her. And of course, he wasn't sure if it was the same person, so he went up there and did a pretty thorough inspection. Called me, got me on FaceTime while, I, while he was there so I could see what he was looking at because the, the lady is pregnant, scared to get stung. She didn't want to get anywhere near anything, so she couldn't tell me when I first talked to her exactly what she had. So he was all up in the attic, all through the crawl space of the house, and looks like they're inside the brick column of the chimney so we're gonna go up there and see if we can't run them out if we can't they're gonna be looking at a trap out either way we'll get them out there hopefully today we're on the road got hunter with me hunter is our pest control tech who is also a beekeeper and he's coming along with me for today he's the one that was up in that attic yesterday crawling around in that hot dark tight space yeah old attic old house so we're going to get them bees out for the people what is that with that house we were supposed to start on this early this morning but it's a crack of noon right now <clears throat> i stayed up late last night so we slow rolling on this one we got a little bit of a ride ahead of us up in the woods by, by the time i got there it was just a few they were all in right yeah it was just a few on the outside and they were going up underneath the uh, outside board there and then when I got up in the attic I seen where they had there's a hole in that chimney and they were up in there all of them was just hanging out on the edge and then of course I mean they get in the house <laughs> by the time I got there they had about 20 of them in there <laughs> no, they losing their mind wasn't they yeah yeah head bees going in here is where they start going in but this is all open frame over to the chimney and there's a spot over in the chimney where they can get in but we ain't got nothing now just some 
couple scouts still floating around. Down here watching for a few minutes now. Ain't no activity coming in or out. Skunked again. Fifth time in two days. <laughs> it's your no. fault. They heard I was coming. Yeah. We might as well leave I now. I mentioned your name last night when I come to check. <laughs> it says time to go. <laughs> Rooster's coming. You can do this the easy way or the hard way. Dude, if I had a three car garage, I'd be working in this thing. Some deer corn. Here we go. What you doing in my waters? I ain't never seen this many dirt dauber nests anywhere. <laughs> got cobwebs growing on all these and then got a bunch of long ones on all on all the walls. There's dirt diver nests everywhere. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna take some cleaning up. And he not had his rags. What'd you find? A hot attic. <laughs> Nada, right? Yep. So I figured. That gone. Might be just because I'm a little <laughs> thick. <laughs> All right, come on now. I'm out here cleaning up some equipment this afternoon. I want to show you the absolute best swarm trap there ever could be. That's some good soft wax there. Old junk equipment. It's got the smell of a hive in it. And the, the more boxes there are, the better chance. Right here, this four stack I put out here a week ago. There's a swarm in it already. And I got another one around the other side, same way. Didn't come out of my equipment. I already split my stuff up and moved all of it off, except for that and that. This right here's the other one. I just got some equipment stacked here. I, get, I have better luck if I have more than one deep. That's a deep and a medium with some old nasty frames in it. This is an empty box, but we got scouts checking it out. But I by far have better luck with 10 frame deeps with more than one box stacked on them. That swarm skunked us. In that chimney? Yeah. Wasn't there. <laughs> Got us. <laughs> that was a... Did you have a fun ride? <laughs> yeah, it was that a... <laughs> Uh, 50 minute, 60 minute round trip. Ah, it's a pretty day. Yeah. You got nothing else to do. Yeah, nothing else to do. Well, we got to hit the Chinese buffet while we was up there. No hives that needed splitting. No hives that needed splitting. Nothing else to do. No videos to edit. Yeah. Plenty of free time. <laughs> nah. Thanks, Hunter. Nah, they were there when Hunter was up there last. They moved out this morning sometime. Yeah, they don't always stick around. No, they, they didn't on this one for sure. There's no closed down what used to be a bed and breakfast right up the road from where we were. In pretty rough shape. I'm just kind of driving around, giving her a once over, see if I see any bee activity on it. Other than that carpenter bee and those wasps up there. This thing's on the market if anybody's interested for a million dollars. I think is what they're asking for the place. Must have a lot of land with it because this house looks like it's near ready for a teardown. It's all hardwood side. Place is old. I hate to be walking around looking up and stuck to a hole somewhere. <laughs> Gotta be careful where I walk on this one. Something flying right up around that socket. I'm 
Might be carpenter bees. You gotta go take a closer look. A lot of bee activity around that chimney over there, but I don't know if I can get to it. <coughs> oh, look. Comes with its own pool. Oh, you get a pool house too. A million dollars, this could be yours. Jacuzzi house. Of course, that price is because it's probably zoned commercial right here on the highway. There's just carpenter bees up around the chimney. These things are all over the place out here. I heard this used to be a nice place. Been closed down for a lot of years now, though. 